San Giovese on its own, um, I, I, I said about the, the crisp color, transparent, uh, even when it is dark, uh, the aromatics, uh, uh, I would say cherries. Cherries, we could have spice, uh, could have a, what I call black aromas, uh, tobacco, meat, uh, but cherry to me is the most important because you even, sometimes if I have to guess the vintage, the beauty of Sangiovese is all kind of cherries. In cold vintages is the wild sour cherry, a little riper you get the red cherry, little riper, you get the black cherry. In warm vintages like 2003, you get the cherry, the, the little cherry with spirit. You don't get the plums and prunes in Chianti. You get the plum and prunes from the Tuscan coast in Sangiovese. But this is the variability of Sangiovese, the palate. On top of that, you have a spice, you have the others. So, genetic, genetical selection, it's important uh, not to limit uh, the genetic of Sangiovese because you make the wine simple. Hmm? Because you lose all this uh, richness and variability. So uh, what I call a soft genetical pressure to get rid of what is not good. I always make the, the example of the mountains because I love the mountains. I'm from Piemonte, I love the mountains. But uh, what is the most beautiful mountain in the world? Is the Matterhorn or is uh, Mount Everest? Yes, but uh, okay, it's a beautiful mountain, but what is the beauty of a range? And the Rockies, the, the, the Alps and Himalaya. So, this is Sangiovese. We want to have a lot of peaks. We don't want to have one beautiful uh, pyramid. Huh? And so we have to be careful to maintain the Alps, <laughs> rather than uh, having one beautiful Matterhorn, because uh, uh, we, ha we are in a region where the soil is very different. We have uh, the climate could change a lot, uh, so no, no wonder we have a variety which is extremely rich genetically. If we limit, uh, we might have one year top result and one year problems. Huh? Uh, so this is uh, very important.